<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I think that was the least awkward I've felt making an intro for a video. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm growing up. Anyway, <laughs> happy Monday everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're all safe and healthy. The past week has been crazy. Uh, a lot has been going on in the world and unless you've been living under a rock, you guys know what's going on. It is the coronavirus that has been going around the past month or so. Before we continue with the video, I just want to give a huge shout out to all the frontliners out there. You guys are amazing. Without you, the world would probably be much more of a mess. Thank you guys so much for doing all that you do. You guys are amazing. Alrighty! So, the video. Today's video is going to be a little different. I've never made a video like this before, but I'm honestly super pumped and excited to film this. So I hope you guys will be as pumped as me. <laughs> pump it, pump it. So I'm going to start off by saying that I had a dream last night. And for those of you who know me, whenever I dream, I dream big. I remember a lot of details and it just makes me a bad storyteller sometimes just because I like giving all the details. I'll try to do my best in this video to not over talk. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about the dream. <laughs> so in my dream, I am in this room, in a crowded room filled with people who are angry, filled with people who are cursing, and just people who are depressed. It was a very high stressful situation. Everyone was just screaming, yelling, and I see that there's this leader on a platform. It was just basically a lot of hate and a lot of negativity going on in that room. And all of a sudden, this leader just points at me and then he asks me this question. Are you terrified of what's happening in the world or do you believe in the Bible? Now there's two ways this dream can go. Either I just not say anything or I say something. We're going with option two. Alex said something. And what Alex said was, I believe in the Bible. The way I said it was with such confidence and no hesitation at all, I just said it. I looked at him dead straight in the eye and I said, I believe in the Bible. So that was basically what happened in the dream. And now let's try to talk about the dream more. In all honesty, I feel like in person, if that actually happened to me, I would have answered a little bit differently. I know that I would have said that I'm terrified. I'm scared. I'm afraid of what's going on around the world. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what will happen for people, what will happen for my friends, my family, for me. I don't know. But as humans, I feel like it's normal to be afraid. It's normal to feel scared when you don't know what's happening. It's normal to feel scared when you've never been in this kind of situation and you just don't know what to do. You don't know how long it's gonna last. You don't know what the future holds. It's scary. But even though I'm scared, I still do believe in the Bible and I believe that God will keep his promise that he will be with us through all the rough times and that he will help us see it through. I have to always remind myself that no matter what I'm going through, I'm not alone. I'm not the only person going through it. Other people are experiencing the same thing, but we all have one person who is there with us, and that's God. We may not see him, but we feel him, and I think that's great. I think it's amazing, and sometimes I still can't wrap my head around how possible but it's it's an amazing feeling to know that someone is there who cares for you and loves you. I want to quickly talk about this app that you guys may have heard of or if you haven't, this app is called YouVersion. It's basically a Bible app that you can download on your phone. This is not a sponsored video, not at all. This is me just talking about how much I love the app and how much it's been very helpful to me. So recently, my friends and I have been doing these plans on YouVersion. And when I say plans, it consists of devotionals, verses, and at the end, you talk about what stood out to you the most or what you feel God was trying to tell you as you were going through the plan for that day. So I'm going to talk about two plans that will kind of have a crossover in the end. I'll explain later. But these two plans I've been doing with my two good friends, Jessica and Sherry. If you guys are watching this, I love you girls so much. 
I'm glad that we get to do these plants together despite us being far away from each other. The first plant I want to talk about is this plant called Not Afraid, How Christians Can Respond to Crises. We just started this plan today and I honestly feel so much better after reading it. It's perfect for what's going on right now in the world and I think it just really helps us figure out things we can do. So there's one saying in the devotional today that really stood out to me. I won't say everything just because I don't want to spoil it. I really suggest that you guys go check it out because it's an amazing app and the plans are great. So the saying was, our response in the wake of danger or uncertainty isn't to ignore pain but to draw people to God's peace. I think it's such a powerful saying just because it talks about us Christians being the light for people who are currently living in darkness. The people who are filled with hate, anger, sadness, depression, anxiety. We need to be the light for these people. We need to show them that despite everything that's going on, things will get better eventually, but they're not in this alone and that we're here with them. We may not be with each other physically because of social distancing, but we're with them in spirit and in prayer. And I feel like it just helps a lot knowing that you know that someone is thinking about you and someone is praying for you. It really lifts your spirits to know you're not alone during tough situations. One of the Bible verses we talked about in the plan was from John 16 verse 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. This is God telling us that in this world there will be a lot of messy things that will happen. Life is imperfect. Life is going to be hard. But we can put our faith and trust in God and just know that He is there to be with us, protect us, and just help us with whatever we're going through. He won't leave us. He never will. All we have to do is just put our faith and trust in Him 100%. God is with us. He's with all of us. Again, we don't see Him, but we feel Him. Another important quote I saw on the plan was, replace fear with faith. And I think that that message is so powerful because once you replace fear with faith, you feel like you can do anything. And this is where our crossover happens. <laughs> Remember earlier I mentioned that there would be a little crossover happening? So I'm going to talk about two plans that will kind of have a crossover in the end. I'll explain later. Here we go. So this other plan Sherry, Jessica, and I are doing is called 2020 Seen, Chosen, Sent. And one phrase that stood out to me the most throughout the whole plan was this. We are God's plan A. I kept rereading that last night just because I felt like, that's crazy. We are God's plan A. We're not plan B, plan C. We're not second option or first option. We are plan A. So what does it mean when they say that we are God's plan A? Basically, it means that we are the chosen ones by God to be able to go out to the world, talk to people, and bring them closer to God. We're here to go to people and help them replace fear with faith. We're here to help them see the light and all this darkness. We're here to give them love. And I will quickly quote our church saying just because I feel like it's super relevant to this and I, I, I love it. <laughs> the church that I go to, Moncton Wesleyan Church, I love it so much. If you guys are looking for online church services, especially right now, I suggest that you guys go check us out. Check them out. I will be leaving the link in the description box down below. They have a YouTube channel as well where you guys can check out the services. It's a great time. So the saying in our church is, God's love in us to the world. Why? To the people watching who are from the Westland, if you guys actually said it, I'd be so amazed. Good job. But the answer is because love changes everything. Because I believe that love is, if not one of the most, but the most powerful thing on earth. Love can change anything and anyone. And can you just imagine the change that this world will experience? once we give our love to them, once we show them that love exists, God's love exists. I honestly believe that the changes that that would make would be amazing. So that's basically the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. Or if you guys have any prayer requests, comment them down below too. I'm also planning to make a video about quarantine and self-isolation. Don't worry, I'm not sick. None of us in my family are sick. We're just practicing social distancing. And don't forget, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn your thumb. Oh my gosh, here comes the awkwardness. <laughs> turn your post notifications on for more videos, and I will hopefully see you guys soon. Hopefully in person, once all of this is gone, and if not, virtually.